everybody and welcome back to the channel. Welcome to my face. <laughs> I don't do a lot of face-to-face -face videos, so hi if you've never seen me before. Welcome. Here is me in all its glory. Uh, I look like a hot mess today. I'm not wearing any makeup. My hair needs to be washed. Are we going to talk about it? Absolutely not. Do I care? No. <laughs> no, I don't. Today I don't care. Um, and today is my very first floss tube video, I guess. Um, yes, this is a diamond painting channel. Yes, we are going to talk about cross stitch. Yes, it's fine. No, I don't care. <laughs> I'm going to do it anyway, because I have been loving cross stitch lately. I have been loving floss tube lately. And I know a lot of you guys feel the same way that a lot of diamond painters do cross stitch and a lot of diamond painters, even if you don't cross stitch, like to watch floss tube. So here we are, we're going to do a floss tube on a diamond painting channel and it's going to be fine. Rachel Ray can do both. Why can't I do both? <laughs> you know what I mean? I shouldn't have named the channel random diamond paints because what if I wanted to do something other than diamond paint? Who cares? Who cares? Today we're going to talk about cross stitch. Um, I wanted to do this video because I did film a whip and chat this morning. Today is still Monday. I don't know when you're seeing this, but today is Monday, the same day that I filmed my whip and chat where I was diamond painting and I just, I'm having kind of a crap day. And, uh, and so I feel like I, maybe not that I was kind of a downer, but that my whip and chat was a little bit shorter than usual. And I don't know, I just, I wasn't as like happy at the end of the whip and chat as I usually feel at the end of a whip and chat. So I figured I'd just throw in the extra video, talk about something that makes me happy, not talk about today. <laughs> Because one of the things I didn't mention in my whip and chat that I'm gonna mention here, uh, just so that, cause I will put a, I will have already put an announcement up on my Instagram by the time you see this. Um, but shop restock is today, but I went to Hobby Lobby to get the little containers that I put the wax in and they were completely sold out. So it was either drive like 40 minutes away to see if another Hobby Lobby has them or just do putty today and do wax later. So that's what we're doing today is we're restocking putty today, but there will be no wax in today's restock. Later this week, I'll put out wax, okay? This is how we're gonna do it because today is a shit show. Anyway, you didn't come to hear me talk about the shop. You came to hear me talk about cross stitch. We have our little furry helper today who is sniffing my cross stitch things. Ollie, come say hello. This is Ollie. He's a little baby. He's just, a, look at him. Look, he's so small. He's a small little boy. But you're a good boy, aren't you? You're a 10 out of 10 good boy. And we've got Ash chilling in her crate over there. Otherwise she would attack me. Not really, she's a sweet girl, but she would get very excited and I wouldn't be able to film this. So, okay. So no more shop updates, furry assistant, cross stitch. Here's how we're gonna do this. Cause I've never done a floss tube before and I'm an extremely new cross stitcher. And by extremely new, I mean like I've been cross stitching for about a week. So <laughs> I'm doing the best I can, but I've been obsessively watching floss tube. So I feel like I do have a somewhat decent amount of knowledge when it comes to cross stitch. So we're gonna try to talk about it. I'm gonna start with showing you my current project. And then I went a little ham at Hobby Lobby because when I'm in a shit mood, I wanna buy things and I wanna buy crafts specifically. So I may have bought a few things, may have spent $90, it's fine. Okay, some of that was for the restock. Okay, it's fine. <laughs> it is so fine. So. This is my current project in the most elegant of project bags. Are you ready? Oh yes, a beautiful Ziploc bag. It's amazing, beautiful, right? Uh, I do want to get like an actual like pretty project bag, but that's for later day. This is my very first ever cross stitch kit. Fair warning at the beginning of this. When it comes to cross stitch, I am a full coverage fanatic. If you don't know what that means, I, hello furry assistant. Um, if you don't know what that means, I will pop a picture up right here of a 
what I would say is the most common kind of cross stitch in terms of like you stitch pieces in there, but you can see a lot of the background. You can see a lot of the fabric. And with a full coverage cross stitch like this one, it's very similar to a diamond painting where every part of the piece is a stitch. That it's like, you don't you really see the background much at all. So, and that doesn't, and I'm a, cro I'm a full, full coverage fanatic. It doesn't mean that I won't ever do a non full coverage cross stitch, but it means that everything you're gonna see today and everything you're gonna hear about today is full coverage, okay? Here is my project that I'm doing at the moment. It is called Afternoon Nap by whatever the frick this company is. I got it at Walmart for like a few dollars. It was awesome. Um, would not recommend though, because as much as the kit is beautiful, the flosses came in like a big bunch, literally just like all wrapped together and they weren't labeled. And so I had to like Google DMC colors to try to decipher which floss was which. And I still have a floss that I don't know what DMC color it is. So <laughs> we're gonna find it out eventually, but it's just a little, a little cat. And he's like laying on this like pot of flowers and there's like a butterfly. And this is a full coverage kit. So that means that every piece that you see in this picture is a stitch. It's gorgeous. This is gonna end up being, the full stitch size is a five by seven. Um, I don't know what that is and like how many stitches this way and how many stitches this way. That's usually how I see cross stitch measured. Um, but I don't, I don't know, cause it doesn't tell me. This is all in DMC and this is on a 18 count Ada, 18? 18 count white Ada, um, which I love by the way. I thought it was a 14 count, it's definitely not. Um, DMC five by seven. So my plan is because I think five by seven frames are pretty common. My plan is to kind of just go to the dollar store. I think they have five by seven frames at the dollar store. Low key, just get like a really cheap little frame to put this in. Even if I don't hang it on the wall, like just to store it, just to keep it safe. You know what I mean? I'll show you my progress on this now. Again, the most wonderful of bags that I keep it in. This is currently what we got. So here's our Ada. This is the progress I have so far. So this is starting right in the middle. Um, and then I have the first row and then the second row. And the way I'm gonna do this is go all the way down and then go all the way up. Cause that's how the pattern is split up. But you can see some of the yellow flowers and you're even starting to see the cat. So right here is like the very top of one of his eyeballs. Like, do you see how that's starting to come along? I'm so excited about it. It's not even funny. I'm so excited. And we've got my little Triceratops needle minder with my needle on it from um, Kim's Needle Minders. It's an Etsy shop. I don't remember. Um, this is on a hoop. I have no idea what size hoop this is. But when I take this out of the hoop, I know that the fabric is going to be all sorts of screwy. So... I'll, I'll show you in a little bit what, what we got going on for that. I have my little pattern in here that's all highlighted and fun. And then I also have a pair of scissors, apparently not. Oh no, yeah, so I have a pair of just scissors in here. I wanna get some cute ones, but I don't have any at the moment. And then a highlighter to highlight everything off. And then the rest of these are my flosses. This is what I ended up having to do because they weren't labeled is that I just sort of wrapped them up and put them in little plastic bags and then used my label maker to write the DMC on them. Which is, it works okay, but it's not the best system in terms of having to dig through this bag to find your color. So I'm working on that. More stuff I'll show you. But that is that at the moment. I'm doing this two over two. No, God, two over one, um, which if I remember right from watching floss tube means that you use two strands of floss over one stitch, one square, right? Yes. Um, there are three quarter stitches in here and half stitches and stuff. I just learned like two days ago what a three quarter stitch was. So all of the three quarter stitches that are like up in this area are done wrong. 
it's fine. It still looks good, so it's fine. He looks kind of like you, huh, bud? Not really, but maybe a teensers. Maybe a teensers. So that's that. I don't think I really have anything else to say about it. It's called Afternoon Nap. 10 out of 10 cute. Um, it's going to take me forever to finish it, but it's so fine. It's so fine. Now, that's that. I don't physically have them because they are in transit, but I'm a few days to a week ago, so maybe five days ago. Oh, excuse me. Maybe five days ago or so, I ordered two kits from 123 Stitch. Um, I will put both of them up on the screen here. One of them is a Halloween one with two little black cats on a pumpkin. And there's a Halloween, Halloween house, a haunted house in the background. Super cute. That one's approximately the same size. It is also full coverage. I don't remember what kind of fabric it's on. I'll let you know when it gets here. And then the other one is this pretty lighthouse. Uh, again, approximately the same size. <laughs> two. Oh, sorry. More like the five by seven, I believe, if I remember right. Again, I'll show you when it gets here. But I just wanted to let you know that I purchased those. And I also purchased a few needle minders. The one that I want to show you is the one that's going to go with the Halloween cat. I'll put a picture of that up right here as well. Is that not the perfect needle minder in the whole world to go with that cat kit? Tell me it is not. If, but if you tell me that, I will fight you because that is perfect, right? It's so cute. And then I got that from Galloway's Gallery um, on Etsy along with two other cat themed needle minders. Very excited about that. Now, let me show you, oh, little man, you're making me allergic. <laughs> How dare you, sir? So let's start with, A, I got like a bunch of crap for the restock. So let's dig through all of that. Um, here we go. So let me show you what I got in terms of trying to organize. Sorry, my phone's at 20% and it's telling me, it's letting me know. Let me show you what I got in terms of trying to organize a little bit better. I saw this while I was at Walmart, the little bobbins with the ring, and I was like, perfect. And I can even like label them or something like beautiful. That was probably much easier. And then you can like put your threads through these little slots to use them. Great. Awesome. Then I got home and realized it's 28. There are more colors than that, than 28 in my kit. So while I was at Hobby Lobby, I got some more. And I don't know if this ring is going to be big enough. I guess we'll find out, huh? And if not, I'll get a bigger ring because they had bigger ones at Hobby Lobby that I could grab. Um, but yeah, more bobbins because this whole plastic bag thing ain't it. Also, because the hoop ain't it, I got this. I'm pretty sure that's not what it says on here. It says lap frame. I'm almost 100% sure that this is what people refer to as a Q-snap. Correct me if I'm wrong. Almost positive this is a Q-snap. Um, I hear it's a lot better for your fabric, a lot easier on your fabric. See, so you it just kind of clamps in there like that. And then because this is an eight by eight Q-snap, I should be able, I would definitely be able to fit my whole cross stitch piece in there. Whereas with the hoop that I've been using, I'm going to have to like move it around, which I don't want to do. So, um, I'm going to try this out. Hopefully my fabric isn't too fucked up right now because I don't have an iron to iron it flat. So to stretch clean for, I don't understand. I'm going to have to read through this and figure out how to do it, but it says like adjust tension with a turn, won't wrinkle progress, round corners, prevents fabric snags, uh, extra long clamps that never lose their strength. Like perfect. Okay. We're going to try that instead of a ring. I hope that works. Okay. And then I saw these, they're tiny little DMC label stickers. And supposedly this front page or whatever only goes up to 310. But I'm hoping that it says that it has every DMC color. So it better go up higher than 310. But um, these tiny little stickers, and it even shows you a picture at the top. You put them in the corner of your bobbins so that it labels it. I was just going to use my label maker, but this is even better because my label maker makes stickers that are like a little too big. So um, yes, please. 
So I got those. And then it's like, I can just, because I'm a monogamous stitcher, like I only stitch one piece at a time, I can just put those on there like permanently and then just reuse them. So like take my current, so say for 310, I'll take my current 310 off or leave it and just put new 310 on for the next kit or, you know, so that I never have to buy these ever again. You know what I mean? I figured that was kind of cool, kind of worth the, uh, oh, excuse me, worth the $2.79. Um, I got some stickers for the shop, it's fun. If you ever get one of my packages, you'll see on the back of the bubble mailer, it's, there's a little sticker that says handmade with love. That's that. Get those at Hobby Lobby. And then, oh yes, okay. I gotta find, there it is. So I don't know, there were a lot of options and I don't know much in the way of needles and sizes and things like that, but I found these needles, counted cross stitch needles. Now you'll see, see if I can pull it out and show you. I have a needle on my current cross stitch that came with the kit, um, but it was a really cheap kit, so I assumed that I could get a better needle. Let me see. Nope, it's probably the exact same thing. Yep, looks like the exact same thing. So I might have just bought more of the same, which is also fine. Um, bought more needles, and because I'm apparently bougie and could not help myself, uh, I got this cute little tin. Come on, come on. And then the back, look. Okay, we're opening it. <laughs> we're opening it, it's fine. If I could get it open. Here we go. Look. Oh, does it slide? Like oh. So look, it doesn't like pop off, it it slides open. That's cool. Is that, is that a magnet? Don't even, hold on, where's my needle? Oh, guys, it's a magnet. Ah, oh, I love it. Okay, wait, but with my nails, how am I ever gonna? Okay, I got it, I got it, I, I got it. It's hard with my nails to pick up something so tiny. That's awesome. Okay, now I'm even doubly happy I bought this. This was like $3.99 or something. I was like, how fucking fun. I'll keep all my little needles in there, right? Because right now they just sit on my needle minder in my project. I was like, there's got to be a safer place to put those. There is. It's called this fucking awesome thing. <laughs> Love that. Oh, I just woke up Ollie. I'm so sorry, my son. My sweet, sweet boy. I don't think I got any more little things. I wanted to get some cute little embroidery scissors, but they didn't have anything that I really liked. Yeah, I think that's it. I'm very interested to try that Q-snap. I hope it works. The last thing that I got, because listen, I was spoiling myself today. Um, I got a kit. <laughs> I told myself I wasn't gonna buy a kit because I have two on the way. But when I saw this, listen, listen. Hobby Lobby was having a 30% off sale on all their needlework stuff, um, including this kit. And when I looked on 123 Stitch, cause I remember seeing this exact pattern on 123 Stitch, it was more expensive to get it there than it would be in the store. So I got it in the store because I'm spoiling myself today because I'm in a bad fucking mood. <laughs> so this is a dimensions kit there. You can see it like that. This is called winter cabin. Yeah, it doesn't have an artist or anything. Oh wait, yes it does. Designed by the McNeil studio. It says it down there. Called winter cabin. It's got the deer and the house, that beautiful sunset. The colors of the water are really gorgeous. Again, this is a full coverage kit. It says that it is a 15 by 10 inches. I don't know if that's like the design size or if that's the fabric size. I don't know, but that's what it says. I'm gonna open it with you guys real quick because I can just, it's like a plastic, so I can just put it all back in here and close it. But I wanna open it and look at it and I also wanna show you guys because fun, right? Because it comes 
A, the flosses are labeled, okay? Holla fucking Luya, considering what I've been through. Um, and then on top of that, the uh, fabric is really cool and pretty. So let's see. Let's just pull it all out and we'll go like one by one. Ooh, no, leave that in there. Leave that. We don't need the outer packaging. Let's leave that in there. My boyfriend just texted me. Oh no, oh no. <laughs> okay, so it looks like instructions. Oh no, this is the pattern. So I'm just gonna show you part of the pattern. Part of, it looks like half of the pattern, not the whole pattern. Um, but cool little pattern and it's like color labeled. Did you see when I really quickly flashed it to you? They're different colors for the different symbols. That's really cool. I mean, some of, it's like, some of them are, you know, there are two symbols that are blue and two symbols that are green. So they're not all different colors, but they're color coordinated so that it's easier to, and then it gives you a bunch of like instructions. Oh, okay. And then they show you cross stitch, half cross stitch, back stitch, and double wrapped French knot. Like they're showing you all the stitches so fancy, right? Okay, so it also comes with this teeny tiny little needle. I have more than enough needles. I wonder if this is smaller than what I got. Yeah, this one's tiny, but because it's smaller than these ones like that I got. These are size 24. If anybody wants to inform me about needles, because I, I don't know. <laughs> I am completely unsure when it comes to that business. Oops, 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 there we go. Okay, there's another piece of paper. That's all in the wrong language, dude. Okay, so we've got the key. Yep, so key on the front, key on the back. And then the other half of the pattern. Cool. So it's, two, it's a two-page pattern, which is nice, and it's split up into grids so that I can split them up into grids, which is nice. It's split up into grids really wonky at the top, but like, it's fun, it's fun. So these are the two pages of, don't chew on my chart, Ollie. Don't chew on my chart. Don't chew on my pattern. That's fun, lots of documents. Um, I do like the color coordinated or the color coded pattern. That's really cool. And then a key with all of the nice, nice, nice. So these are the flosses. Oh my God. They're all tangled. Um, trying to like brush through them like hair, but they're labeled. Okay, you can kind of see that a little better. Lots of really beautiful colors. I was thinking, oh, this is gonna be a lot of white and a lot of whatever. Stop chewing on my stuff, Ollie. <laughs> but the closer I looked at it, the closer I realized there's lots of yellows and oranges and pinks. Hello. <laughs> And like, how gorgeous is all of that? I was, re I'm really excited about this. And they're all freaking labeled. Yes, they're freaking labeled. <laughs> like this pretty thing is, I didn't know DMC went that high. Is this DMC? No, it's not. No, it's not. Hold on, <laughs> I'm confused. This is not DMC, <laughs> what is it then? I have no idea. Cause these color codes are weird. It has black as 18403. I want to know what kind of thread this is. Contained pre-sorted thread. What kind of thread are you? I want to know. You can you tell I'm a beginner stitcher or what? Because I feel like every time I watch a floss tube, everybody's like, yeah, it's this kind of floss and this kind of what? I have no idea. Maybe that's what happens when you get a kit instead of, because what freaking, what is this? I have no idea. 
it doesn't say what kind of I might have to google it because I have no idea and that does that is not DMC um so my whole like little DMC labeling system that I just bought like totally goes out the window would you cut the shit always trying to eat my stuff all right well but anyway I can figure that out it's floss um, I'll try to figure out what kind of floss it is. If I can figure it out, I'll put it on the screen right here just so that you're aware um, because I have no idea and it doesn't say so. But still, really beautiful floss. Very excited. And then this is the fabric, okay? This is a 16 count gray Ada. It doesn't look gray to me, it looks blue. But look at how big that is. Look. It's, like I said, it says gray, but that looks blue to me, huh? Does that look blue to you? It looks blue to me. Looks like a sort of a gray blue, but blue nonetheless. Uh, 16 count is a little bit, I guess, it's a smaller number. Like I said, I've worked with 18 count Ada, so it'll be interesting to work with 16 count, but they look pretty similar to me, so <laughs> it should be fine. But like, that's a honking piece of fabric, right? That's awesome anyway i just thought it was cool that it's gonna be on a blue fabric i wouldn't expect that with a full coverage piece to have something other than like white or black but i thought that was really fun um so that's that always still trying to eat all of my stuff and i don't appreciate it sir no i do not appreciate your bullshit <laughs> look at all this mess of floss this is gonna take a while to sort through but it's fine. Isn't that cool though? I was so excited. I'm so excited to, I think I'm going to save this for like winter because it's a very wintry thing. Uh, the one that I want to do next is definitely like the Halloween kitties. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's what I want to do next is I'm going to do the Halloween kitties. Let's see if I can get this back in. Heck yeah. Look at that. Back in as if nothing ever happened. I'll give you one last look. Isn't that pretty? <laughs> I'm so excited about this. This one was $39.99 in store, but I got a 30% off discount. I don't know exactly how much that is. It's $27.99 because it took $12 off. That's awesome. $27.99 for that big of a kit. Bet, right? Absolutely bet. Um, so that's everything that I got. Oh, there's more floss. There's more floss. <laughs> that apparently fell out and I missed it. This one's a little bit more in a jumbled pile, but it is still labeled. So good for them. Because fuck that company who didn't label their floss. So we've got like this light blue this yeah 18403 which is black there's a lot of floss in this kit this is gonna be a big girl this pretty blue and this pretty blue that's all tangled but it's fine because it's labeled you should have seen the mess that the other one like they weren't even separated so like these are separated and labeled the other one wasn't even separated. It was literally one big ball and you had to find all of the, so like if there were six strands or like six threads of floss, you had to find all six of them. I was like, really? So I'm like sitting there comparing pieces of floss. Is this the same color? Is it a slightly different shade of brown? No, <laughs> it was dumb. It was dumb, 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 dumb. <laughs> I did not appreciate that. But that's it for this. This is only a 30 minute video. Um, I usually wash floss tubes that are like an hour, but I don't have that much to show you because I don't have a huge haul. And I'm also a monogamous stitcher. So I only have one whip. That's all I got for you today, folks. Um, yeah that's all i got at hobby lobby that is the kit that is everything um if you have any suggestions for where i can get a uh, preferably more on the cheaper side but still a really cute project bag 
let me know. Um, I love Etsy. So if there's anything on Etsy that you could, I sell on Etsy. So I want to support other Etsy shops. If you have, if you know of something, especially if it's on Etsy, let me know. Uh, cause a girl would like to check that out. Cause I would like, I would like to do something other than a Ziploc bag, but that's, that's what we got for now. So that is it. Um, I hope you guys liked this weird video. Just wanted to show you guys everything. I'm very excited about all of it. You want to see the furry assistant again? Come here, my furry assistant. What do you think, my son? Is this a cute snap, my son? I don't know. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. Oh, I'm playing. Mommy loves you, you know? You're a good boy. Oh, he chooses violence. Okay. Fine, I'm done. <laughs> That's it for this video, you guys. That is all the cross stitch I have to show you. Um, if you haven't seen my whip and ch chat yet, that should be up before this video, so go ahead and check that out. That's my whip and chat for the week. Um, I'll also have more regularly scheduled diamond painting program after this, so if you're not a cross stitch person, you probably haven't gotten to this point. That's fine. Um, but yeah, that's my cross stitch. I'm really excited about it. If you guys have any questions, I'm probably not the person to ask, but go ahead and ask them and I'll do my best. Um, and if you have suggestions and stuff, let me know. Uh, because again, I've been cross stitching for about a week. So yes. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I hope you have a great rest of your day. Bye.